Hi, I'm Dr. Trish Sexton. Today I'm just going to share with you some tips and tricks for your iPad. You've probably seen friends and family doing some easy gestures, maybe taking pictures, maybe they have a passcode. I'd just like to share with you how to put those things on your iPad and use them easily. So this is your home screen. As you get started, you just slide the bottom toggle to the right to unlock it. And we'll just go into the settings button to start off with. We're going to go to the general settings, as you can see here. Uh, we'll start off with um, setting up a, a passcode lock. So we've got so that um, we can turn on a passcode. This button at the top says to turn it on. We're going to have a single passcode. You can decide if you want to require it or not. We need to set one on this, and we're just going to set one, two, three, four. All right, we're going to re-enter it so we make sure we've got that right. Of course, you want to remember this. And now, when we open, we have to enter that code in order to access our materials. Of course, this is of great use for um, families, for children who may be getting in. Um, perhaps when you leave your iPad on your, on your workstation, you'll need to make sure that only you can access your important materials. The next thing we'll look at is also on this general setting screen, um, you want to maybe learn some gestures. These are shortcuts on the iPad you can um, use to kind of navigate around the screen and between screens. You can see here that we have multitasking gestures on. On yours, it may be off. You want to turn it on, and then you can do a lot of things with your, with your iPad just using four or five fingers. One of those is to just pinch the screen down. Five fingers pinching down brings to the home screen. Okay, let's just look at that again. We're in settings, put five fingers on the screen, pull them in, and you can go right to your home screen. Of course, you've probably already figured out that to navigate from screen to screen, you can swipe right and left with a single finger or two fingers. Another uh, helpful gesture that you can use is to move between apps. Let's say you have three apps open. You want to kind of navigate between them. Perhaps we have the clock open. And we want to see what we were just working on in the settings page, just using four fingers four fingers, swiping to the left, you can move, swiping to the right, you can move between those apps that are open. So that can be helpful instead of going back and reopening and reopening using the, the home button. Let's see, another uh, useful situation might be you're here typing a note and you need one of your other uh, locked apps you just need to take a look at that. You can use four fingers, swipe up, and you've got your apps along the bottom. You can scroll to the left or to the right if you want to find that new app that you also wanted to open real quick, check something out. While we're in the note screen, let's look at how we type a note. So when you, uh, when you click on the note itself, you'll open the keyboard. Of course, many of us type on a full keyboard, but some of you probably type on, whoops, some of you probably type with just your thumbs. This is, um, opens this up for thumb typing. Now you can type like this. I'm not a thumb typer, but you could. So you could type just like that. If you want to put the keyboard away, if you can just merge it back together, but keep it in the center of the screen. Or you can dock it back at the bottom. Just one more quick and easy shortcut that I'd like to show you is how to take a picture of, your, um, of the screen that you're looking at on your iPad. So taking a screenshot, maybe you have a, a website or an image up that you've annotated and you just want to make sure you keep that for posterity. So we will open this reminder screen and I don't have any reminders in there, but if I wanted to take a picture, I hold the lock button, which is at the top of the iPad up here. This is the on off and the home button, which is in the uh, circle at the bottom. We're going to hold those both at the same time. We're going to click the home button twice. 
And you saw that it just took a picture. I turned it off by accident. Um, that's the picture. If we go now to our camera, and in the camera roll, there's the picture we just took. You can have that, you can keep it, um, refer to it later. And of course, that's also the way um, you can put multiple pictures in, in slideshows and things like that off of your iPad. I think that's all the gestures and, and um, tips and tricks that we have for you today. So thanks for watching.